morning. This is no ordinary vlog because I'm in burn. Oh my god, sorry. Oh, my alarm. Yeah, it's 7.30. I have a class at 8.15. Sorry, before anything, the sun hasn't even risen yet. I have to, I have to get ready, so I'll, I'll get back to you, sorry. It's 43, the train comes in 3 minutes, you gotta really gotta f*** the run. Really gotta f*** the run, man. I have to put on my socks. This always happens, man. Every single day I have to run to the train. Just make it. <sighs> train comes in 2 minutes, oh my god. And it's on time, guys. This is Bern, Switzerland. The train comes on time, 100%. This view is amazing. Wait till the clouds away. What am I doing here? That's the University of Bern. Yes, sir. I'm doing an exchange semester at the University of Bern. A bit different, but if you follow me around, today I'll show you what it's like to study a day in Bern. Perfect hot. Yeah, bro, it's fixing right now. Of course. So I'm doing my assignment for this Thursday's class and it's more confusing than I thought so I'm just gonna take a break outside. Yeah, this is a cafe where I discovered like two weeks ago. It's like a great view to it.
Back at Bumpets Nord, yeah. This is a station where my dorm is. It's like two minutes from the train station, which is awesome. But I still always run to the train station literally every day. Thailander habits. Yeah, it's half a day already. It's like 1 p.m. Going to go cook because I'm freaking hungry and probably some power nap and I know, we'll see. That's my dorm right there. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my room. And we're back. Room, sweet room. already half a day used. Funny thing about studying abroad is that nothing really comes easy. Like you gotta really do everything by yourself. Like already half a day is spent doing life stuff. You know, laundry, clean your room, cooking, washing the dishes after you eat. Also you gotta make room for errors. There's so many problems. It keeps coming in, you know? Like that broken pan, like it cost me like half an hour. Nah, it's too much, probably 15 minutes, but like all of those every day, there's like unexpected uh, black swans popping out of nowhere. Like black swans are normal, but it's so much, especially in the first days. But like, yeah, right now there's nothing much to do. I'm just gonna edit some videos, call my mom and do whatever the hell I want. Finally done. This is the most masking I've done in a video. Probably. Let's see. This is a special behind the scenes. Only you guys would see. As you can see, I mean, After Effects. This nice. is a concept of a double sided bed. And I would uh, play with myself. It's not done. I need to add like the alarm effects. Everything, yeah. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, don't do that, bro. 
Yeah, be awesome. <laughs> One little mistake though. My sh why does my shirt change to black? The formal explanation is that I teleport through through the upside world to the normal world, but that's basically a filming mistake. I was supposed to change my clothes, but I didn't, and there's no way of refilming this. <laughs> you know, I would have to wait like three more months, but uh, whatever. I'll find a way to nice. make it work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go buy some groceries. Today's checklist: oyster sauce. Yep, I'm actually going to the Asian market to get some Thai sauce to make krapao. I'm upgrading my cooking bag, cooking skills. You know, I'm gonna cook more Asian and Thai food. It don't even matter if today was the worst day. Just remember what you can say. Let's go, my boy. A faster way to travel sometimes is by bike. I wish every day was a different day. I mean, I wish everybody had acted differently. I'm turned off from the Asian screen in a foreign country. I came back from Atlanta on the phone screaming, Who's this? Nobody brought this to the point that I have, and I'm feeling real good, and I'm happy. I ain't overly sad. I got everything. Let's go back. There's no time for shit, man. I ain't so heavy. Guys, I bought so much. Let me show you what I got. First of all, it's the most expensive thing in here. Since I'm gonna make kopao, first you need the rice. Got the chili, the holy basil, some awesome sauce, meat of course, sugar, and another sauce. Wow, it's gonna be perfect tonight. All right, let's go cook a bit more. Aha, all the ingredients are ready. I'm so excited for this. I'm making kopao. The rice is ready. Awesome. I hate dry rice, so that's absolutely perfect. See you on the other side. Hopefully it works out. Now with the secret sauce. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. What about this though? Gotta say, this is my proudest dish so far. It's like missing home. Proud, delicious as fuck. When I'm sweating, you know it's good. As you can see, I literally cleared the plate. But now, you have to clean all of this. See you later. Nah, I'm just kidding, I can't do that. Oh, my fridge smells like garlic and onions because of this. Oh, it's a pleasant, not pleasant smell. But uh, my fridge is uh, getting full. Oh my god, so many things in my fridge now. What am I saying? Sorry. Okay, as you can see, the sky is dark and the day has ended, or about to end soon, whatever. But it's been a day in Bern. This is daily life, just normal, normal life. Yeah, let's perhaps chat a bit about what the hell I'm actually doing here. But if you don't want to know, peace out. Thank you for watching. Love ya. Now that that's over with, um, I'm actually exchanging here. It's a program that is linked with Chula. I'm not required to take a certain amount of credits, but it's good to do so because if you don't, next semester will be hell, you know? Better to just do a couple credits here, go travel, connect with new people. Yeah, so far I've learned so much here, like life without like the automations that I got back home. For example, the cooking. Dude, I learned groceries, buying skills, storing the food skills. I know when the food is rotten. By experience, I know how to keep the fridge fresh and everything. How to optimize my food stash, how to cook creatively, how to cook with leftovers. And yeah, that's just only for cooking. Another important thing is you learn to be on time because trains are 
it's like crazy on time which could sound like hell for a Thai person like me but if you live here for a while it's actually like the best thing ever because it's so consistent like you know when you get to place and everything like it's pretty good and the water here is unlimited as well, which is good. But yeah, living here, I get so much automatity, auto mode, auto, like I get to do stuff that I actually want to do, and I get to travel anywhere I want. On budget, of course. Living here, it's pretty peaceful and quiet. The less choices, the simpler your life, the easier it is to be content and everything. Alright, I think that's enough for today. Thank you for sticking around. I don't post much, but I'm always gonna post from time to time. So, whatever. Thank you for watching. Peace.